that they could sing something for us and the preacher will come in let me walk blessed Lord in the ways of our soul leading friend to the land The Lord bless you. Je suis dans la joie encore ce matin I'm happy once again this morning au milieu de vous to be amongst you pour que nous puissions partager le pain de vie. so we can share the bread of life. Amen. Amen. Je encore une fois remercier le pasteur Louis once again I thank the pastor Louis pour ce privilège qu'il m'accorde for this privilege that he grants me et remercier aussi le Seigneur Jésus Christ and I thank the Lord Jesus Christ pour avoir permis que je sois là for allowing me to be here vous servir la parole. To give you the word. Je vais remercier mon interprète. Thank my interpreter. Il le fait très bien. Uh, alors vraiment, il faut qu'on le Et Je vais le remercier. Il le fait très bien. Parce que job. souvent, je suis trop rapide. Sometimes I go too fast. Et je crois que je lui ai donné beaucoup de fil à retordre, mais ça n'est bien sorti. But everything went out well. Uh, J'étais surpris. Mais je vais essayer d'être... Uh, d'être calme. So I try to be calm. 
Comme ça, je lui donne un peu plus de temps. To give him a little bit more time. Et que ceux qui suivent en anglais puissent aussi comprendre. And for those who only hear English, they can understand too. And God help me. Je voudrais aussi remercier la sœur Kayembe, Salima Kayembe. I will also thank our sister Kayembe. Uh, je ne la vois pas know. là, mais I don't see her, but elle nous a vraiment bien gâté. She truly spoiled us. Avec ses deux filles. Her and her two daughters. Uh, Promesse et, Promise et, et charité. And charity. Uh, toujours à la cuisine. Always in the kitchen. À côté de maman. Next to your mother. En tout cas, on n'a ri manqué de rien. We miss nothing. Uh, je dormis comme un bébé. I slept like a baby. Et ça fait, ça fait du bien. And it was good. Et que Dieu bénisse la sœur Salima. May God bless the sister Salima. Et je prie pour elle de tout mon cœur. I pray for her with all my heart. Vous savez. Uh, Frère Branham dit, vous ne le savez même pas, Frère Branham, mais les hommes disent ça aussi. Derrière un, un grand homme, il y a toujours une grande femme. Behind a great man, there's a great woman. Amen. Derrière John Wesley et Charles Wesley, il y avait une grande Behind John Wesley femme. and Charles Wesley, there were great women. Suzanne Wesley. Suzanne Wesley. Amen. Vous pouvez avoir le don que Dieu a placé en vous. You may have the gift that God placed in you pour apporter la parole to bring the word. mais si vous n'avez pas une grande dame derrière vous il sera you, difficile que ce don explose parce qu'il y aura toujours de lutte par-ci par-là mais si there. vous avez un bon soutien derrière le don you, se manifeste pleinement c'est pour cela les femmes de prédicateurs et de pasteurs et même les femmes de diacres vous devez être even the deacons, des gens complètement consacrés you be who are parce que le diable peut facilement vous utiliser the can use you pour retarder l'œuvre de Dieu to delay the work of God. Et quand le pasteur n'est pas à l'aise, and when the pastor is not comfortable, quand il pas content, when he's not happy, quand il est dans les murmures, when there's murmurs dans les soucis, and worries, it lui devient difficile it becomes hard for him de servir Dieu pleinement. to fully serve God. Mais quand à la maison, le met à but when at home, he's comfortable. Et la sœur lui montre vraiment que tu es mon chéri. And the sister shows that he's her honey. Prends soin de lui. And she takes care of him. De petits câlins. Uh, little caresses. De petits bisous. Little kisses. De petits mots gentils. Little nice words. De petits encouragements. Few encouragements. Et de grandes prières. And great prayers. Alors cet homme-là ira très loin. Then that man will go very far. Uh, donc, euh, Priez pour votre sœur. So pray for your sister. Vous savez, elle est un être humain. You know she's a human being. Elle a des émotions et des sentiments. She has emotions and feelings. Un moment, elle peut être un peu nerveuse. There's a time she might be a little nervous. Pour toutes ces charges là. Because of all that responsibility. Et comprenez la. Understand her. Supportez la. Support her. Elle peut avoir, elle peut être triste. She can be sad. Elle peut être abattue. She might be down. Elle peut se lever un peu comme on dit en français de mauvais pied. She might wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Avoir une mauvaise humeur pendant un temps. In a bad humor for a certain time. Ne la condamnez pas. But don't condemn her. Ne la jugez pas. Don't judge her. Soutenez-la. Support her. Parce que elle est entre, comme le prophète disait à propos de Meda, like entre le pasteur et vous. She's between the pastor Donc, and you. Euh, priez beaucoup pour elle. So pray a lot for her. Pour qu'elle soit toujours sous le sang de Jésus. So she can always be under the blood Alors, of si Jesus. Si son mari est bien, and if her husband is good, il donnera du bon service à vous. He'll give good service to you. Et vous serez bien. And you will be good. Soyez indulgent vis-à-vis d'elle. Be indulgent with her. Ne, la, ne l'exigez pas trop. Don't afflict her too much. Ne regardez pas moindre truc pour condamner. Don't look at the littlest things to try to condemn her. Supportez-la. Support her. Et Dieu vous bénira. And God will bless you. Je ne sais pas pourquoi je parlais comme ça. I don't know why I said this. Mais je parlais. But I said it. Levons-nous, nous allons lire la parole de Let's Dieu. Let's stand up and read the word of God. Prenons Hébreu chapitre 11. We take Hebrew chapter 11. Oh, laissons faire comme Frère Branham faisait avant de lire la parole par nous à l'autre. And like Brother Branham would do before reading the word, we'll speak to the altar. Seigneur Jésus, Lord Jesus, devant moi se tiennent des hommes et des femmes qui valent mieux que ton sang. In front of me are standing people who are worth more than your blood. 
Parce que ton sang a été versé pour les acquérir. Because your blood was shed to get them. Et je sais quelle responsabilité j'ai de me tenir ici et de leur parler. I know the responsibility I have to stand here and talk to them. Tu es l'épouse de Jésus Christ. You're the bride of Jesus Christ. Le Saint de Dieu. The saints of God. Je me sens indigne de me tenir ici. I feel unworthy to stand here. Mais je compte sur le sang versé à la croix. But I'm counting on the blood that was shed on the cross. Que ce sang m'a rendu digne. I confess that that blood made me worthy. Père. Father, béni la lecture de la parole. Bless the lecture of your word. Et puisses-tu nous donner le contexte de cela. And may you give us the context of it. Donne-moi la puissance et la hardiesse pour l'annoncer. Give me the power and the courage to announce it. La sagesse comment le faire et quand le faire. And the wisdom to know how to do it. Et quand j'aurai dit assez. And when I will say enough. Que le Saint Esprit m'arrête. May the Holy Spirit stop me. Que je rentre chez moi. And may I go home. Laissant le peuple de Dieu leaving the people of God in astonishment in wonderfulness giving place to the Holy Spirit to work amongst them par le nom de Jésus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. And the name of Jesus Christ. Le Saint Esprit prend tout esprit dans ce lieu. May the Holy Ghost take contrôle. every spirit in this place under its control. Et place nous dans le lieu céleste en Jésus. Place us in the heavenly places in Christ. Laisse nous comme des aigles. Like eagles. Voler très haut. Flying above. Donne-nous l'entendement spirituel. Give us a spiritual understanding. Ce que tu as prévu de nous parler. Of what you plan to speak to us. Car nous te le demandons, Père. For we ask you, Father. Au nom de Jésus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hébreu 11, chapitre 23 jusqu'au et, et, et 25, 24. Hébreu 11, 23 to 24. C'est par la foi que Moïse a sa naissance caché pendant trois mois par ses parents parce qu'ils virent que l'enfant était beau et qu'ils ne craignirent pas l'ordre du roi. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. C'est par la foi que Moïse, devenu grand, refusa d'être appelé fils de la fille de Pharaon. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Amen. Amen. Nous prenons Joël chapitre 3. We'll take Joel chapter 3. Le verset 10. Verse 10. De vos, de vos oyaux forgez des épées et de vos serpes forgez des lances. Que le faible dise Je suis fort. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. Et nous terminons avec Romains chapitre 10. And we'll finish with Romans chapter 10. A partir du verset 9. From verse 9. Si tu confesses de ta bouche le Seigneur Jésus, Et si tu crois dans ton cœur que Dieu l'a ressuscité des morts, tu seras sauvé. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Car c'est en croyant du cœur qu'on parvient à la justice, et c'est en confessant de la bouche qu'on parvient au salut. For with the heart, Man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Vous pouvez vous asseoir. You may be seated. Voilà, frère, je suis là pour pouvoir aider quelqu'un. So I'm here to help someone. C'est pour ce but-là que nous nous tenons derrière la chair. That's why we stand behind the pulpit. Pas pour épater les gens. Not to shock people. Pas pour montrer combien nous connaissons. Not to show how much we know. Pas pour faire du théâtre. Not to put on a play. Mais pour aider quelqu'un. But to help someone. Comme le prophète le dit. Like the prophet says. Dans la prédication, un guide. In the sermon, a guide. Prêché le 14 octobre 1962. Preached in 62. À Jeffersonville. In Jeffersonville. Il dit. He says. Maintenant, oh, je vais prendre un peu là. Or, ces petits versets que nous lisons, auxquels nous nous référons, ils nous servent de base pour ce que nous cherchons à dire. 
these little scriptures that we read and refer to are to give us a basic for what we are trying to say. Et toujours, jamais une seule fois, je ne me rappelle d'être monté en chair pour essayer de dire quelque chose juste pour le dire. And I have never one time, as I remember, ever coming to the pulpit to try to say something to be seen. Jamais. Never. Je m'efforce toujours d'attendre, de veiller, d'étudier, de prier jusqu'à ce que j'ai le sentiment d'avoir reçu quelque chose qui aidera les gens. I always try to wait, watch, study, pray until I feel that I have something that would help the people. Amen. Amen. Si je ne peux pas être une aide, if I can't be a help, alors il est inutile que je me tienne ici. Then there's no need of me to be standing here. Je suis ici c'est pour essayer d'aider. I'm here to try to help. Amen. Amen. Et je crois que vous avez besoin et nous avons besoin d'être aidés. And I believe that we all need to be helped. Aidé pourquoi? Helped why? Pour que le but pour lequel nous venons à l'église so that the reason for which we come to church soit atteint. Will be reached. Et pourquoi venons-nous à l'église? And why do we go to church? Moi je suis là pour vous aider. I'm here to help you. Et vous pourquoi êtes-vous venu ce matin? But you, why are you here this morning? Le prophète dit dans l'église et sa condition. The prophet says the church and its state, its condition. Paragraphe 21. Paragraph 21. Il dit, eh bien, nous venons à l'église pour devenir meilleurs. We come to make ourselves better people. Amen. Nous Amen. ne venons pas pour être bon. Dieu ne veut pas de bon. We don't come to be good. Dieu God doesn't want good. Dieu veut que vous dépassiez le niveau de bon. God wants you to go past que being good. Que vous devenez meilleur. And you become better. Amen. Amen. Parce qu'il a dit, soyez parfait. Because he said, be perfect. Votre Père Céleste est parfait. As your heavenly father is perfect. Dieu ne veut pas que vous ayez 9 sur 10. God doesn't want you to have 90 out of 100 10 10. or 80 out of 100. Dieu exige 10 sur 10. God requires 10 out of 10. Dieu veut de meilleur. God wants the best. Je sais que tu es bon. Maybe you're good. Mais Dieu veut que tu sois meilleur. But God wants you to be the best. Il dit, he nous says, venons pour nous rendre des meilleurs gens. We come to make ourselves better people. Des meilleurs chrétiens. Better Christians. Des meilleurs citoyens. Better citizens. Il faut que ici à Lexington, Here in Lexington, que le gouverneur, the governor, que le voisin, your neighbor, en vous regardant, while looking at you, ça, ce sont des meilleurs citoyens. They should say they are the best ce citizens. Ce sont des véritables Américains. They're true Americans. Il faut que le voisin en vous regardant the neighbor when looking at you, oui, j'ai vu de chrétiens, should say, I've mais seen ça c'est parmi les meilleurs. But there's some of the best. Des meilleurs pères. Better fathers. Il faut que nos enfants, our children, en nous regardant, when looking at us, disent, should say, non, papa, oh father, you are the best. Tu es le meilleur. Des meilleurs mères. Better mothers. Amen. Amen. Et de meilleurs voisins. And better neighbors. Voilà pourquoi nous venons à l'église. That's why we come to church. Nous venons pour devenir meilleurs. We come to become better. Et nous venons aussi pour les prophètes continuent. And the prophet continues. Parce que Christ nous a dit que si nous venions et demandions quelque chose en son nom because Christ told us if we come and ask anything in his name là où nous étions assemblés à deux ou à trois where we are assembled together as two or three il serait parmi nous he would be with us et nous l'accorderait and would grant it to us donc vous êtes venus avec des demandes so you came with requests avec des requêtes with questions moi je vais essayer d'apporter la parole de dieu i will try to bring the word of god augmenter votre foi to increase your faith à un certain niveau to a certain level vous pouvez être capable where you will be able to get ce que nous demandons à dieu what you're asking from god nous sommes assemblés. since we've come together maintenant now qui aurait-il de plus ou de mieux pour nous aujourd'hui que de savoir Que nous venons à l'église pour devenir meilleur. What could be better to us today than to know that we are at church to better ourselves? Pas seulement pour devenir meilleur, not just pour become better. Élargir notre entendement. To broaden our understanding. 
C'est la raison pour laquelle je suis ici. That's why I'm here. Dire cela? How many want to say that? Je veux une meilleure compréhension. I want a better understanding. Amen. Amen. Voilà pourquoi tu as placé des dons à l'église. That's why God placed gifts in the church. Vous pouvez prendre la même Bible que les pasteurs. You can take the same Bible as the pastor. Le même brochure que les pasteurs. The same book as the pastor. Vous ne verrez jamais ce que les pasteurs verront. But you never see what the pastor will see. Et vous l'apporterez jamais comme il apportera. And you never bring it the way he'll bring it. Mange la manne cachée. Because he eats the hidden manna. Un peu plus supérieure and que vous. understanding a little higher than you. Et il prend cette compréhension and he takes that understanding. À and gives it to the church. Amen. Amen. Et le prophète dit quelque chose pour terminer. And to finish. Il dit. He says. Ah, si nous voulons avoir une bonne compréhension. If you want to have a good understanding. Cela doit venir de la parole de Dieu. It must come from God's word. Pas de la parole d'un homme. Not of the words of a man. Pas de la pensée du pasteur. Not the thoughts of the de pastor. De la parole de Dieu. But the word of God. Et nous savons. And we know. Que dans cet âge. That in this age. Dieu a pensé. God has thought. Il a pris sa pensée. He took his il thought. Il a mis dans la bouche de William Branham. And Manam. put it in the mouth of William Branham. Le prophète a parlé. The prophet spoke. Et nous nous croyons. And we believe. la parole révélée. And the entire revealed nous word. Pas de message. We don't have a message. On pas de révélation à We don't have a revelation to give. Nous prenons ce que Dieu a donné à William Branham. We take what God gave William Branham à l'église. And we bring it to the church. Est-ce que quelqu'un peut dire amen Can à someone cela? say amen to that? À part William Branham. À part William Branham. Il n'y a pas quelqu'un qui peut nous enseigner. There's no one else that can teach us. Il n'a pas de remplaçant. He has no replacement. Il n'a pas d'égal. He has no equal. Il est unique. He is the only one. Amen à cela. Can somebody say amen to that? Alléluia. Alléluia. We Branham. cannot replace on Brother Branham. We cannot copy him. All that we have to do is to repeat what he said. Because repeating what Brother Branham says is a thus say the Lord. Let me say something on that. It's just a parenthesis. Moses, my servant, is dead. Dieu dit à Josué. God told Joshua. Il dit Josué. He said Joshua. Prends ce peuple. Take this people. Introduis-les. And introduce them. Into the promised land. Josué. Joshua. A remplacé. Replaced. Moïse. Moses. Mais dans quelle fonction? But in which role? Moïse avait deux fonctions. Moses had two roles. Moïse était un prophète. Moses was a prophet. Révélateur divin de la parole. A divine revealer of the word. Le seul qui peut monter sur la montagne. The only one that can climb the et mountain. Et redescendre avec le loi. And come down with the laws. Les ordonnances. And the ordinance. Le précepte. And the principles. Et ce travail-là, il a And that job, achevé. he finished it. As a prophet, de la parole, the revealer of the word, a cette he completed that mission. Josué and Joshua pas en de they didn't replace him in the quality of a prophet. Mais Moïse But Moses aussi was also de a commander of the army. Il était un he was a soldier. Il he had to take the people from a physical land and introduce them into another physical land and fight the nations in physical wars. That's where Joshua took the place of Moses. Joshua replaces Moses as a commander of the army to continue the war of the Lord. But he never replaced Moses in the role of a prophet. He replaced Moses in the role of the commander. And to overcome and to reach his mission, he told Joshua, made this book of the law. Hallelujah. Of this book is demonstrative. It's like God came to Joshua and he had a book. Which book? The book of Moses. He said, Joshua, take this people 
and you will introduce them into the land. There will be wars. But in order for you to win, I'm not asking you to go on the mountain or to get a revelation or to receive a dream or to receive a vision. The only thing, this message of Moses, may you take it and don't turn away left or right. Don't add where Moses said in no circumstance a believer should get married to an unbeliever. You, Joshua, repeat the same thing. Where Moses said, no mixed marriage. You, the believer, Joshua, repeat the same thing. The same way. We are the Joshua of today. We're not Moses. Moses is William Branham. Hallelujah. And God calls us Kayembe. And he says, William Branham, my servant is gone. He went back home. And God does not take his man as long as he hasn't finished his mission. As long as he hasn't completed his job, God will not take him. He said to the Ephesians 4, to the Joshua's of today, not to go wait for a new revelation or to write books. No. Take this people. William Branham didn't know us. But you're the people of God. But may he, he'll take you and introduce you. First take us out of the world of sin and introduce you into another land that is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And on the way, towards the baptism of the Holy Ghost, there will be a demon of lies, the demon of anger, the demon of jealousy, and him with the word, he will break those demons. He will rip them and it will take you and bring you to the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's where he takes the re revival. He doesn't take the revival to become a great world leader. The revival to take you the portion of people that God gave him and introduce you into the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Brother Branham says, these young people who will take this message and will give it a sense. Amen. Amen. Katina biso, papa to sale lio, e tumbelo, papa kayebe mata di kolo, zwabuku ya mota kole branam, tange la biso makambo, branam e asalaki, ya monde makambo e tombi sakabiso, kondima. La chose qui augmente notre foi. The thing that increases our faith. C'est pas les pensées des frères. It's not the thoughts of the brother. C'est pas son imagination. It's not his imagination. C'est pas sa compréhension de la Bible. It's not his understanding of the Bible. C'est de nous dire ce que Moïse a dit. It's to tell us what Moses said. Est-ce que je vais commencer à prêcher? Can I start preaching? Dans le titre de ma prédication ce matin. Am I preaching my sermon this morning? C'est par la foi. It's by faith. Moses refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Amen. Amen. Now we're starting to preach. You know the story of Moses. He was born to be a deliverer. And when he was born, the king said to all the children of Israel, the king said all the male babies should be killed and thrown into the Nile River as food for the crocodiles. And when Moses came, the Bible tells us that the parents saw that their child was proper or handsome. 
And they were not afraid of the king's order. They didn't give up their child. Why? Because the child was proper. What does that mean? All the children, when they're born, they're handsome. Amen. Amen. All the children that were killed were also handsome. Qu'est-ce que la Bible veut dire que les parents ont vu que l'enfant était beau? Why does the Bible say the parents saw that he was proper? And because of his beauty, ils ont décidé they decided de ne pas obéir à l'ordre du roi. To not obey the king's order. Et ils disent cet enfant est tellement beau. They said the child is so proper that when que le roi descend, if the king goes up or down, then he won't be able to kill him. What does that mean? Appelons frère Branham. Let's call Brother Branham. He'll explain to us what it means that child was proper. If you don't have William Branham, you'll continue to walk. Oh, when Moses was born, he was handsome. But all the children are handsome when they're born. Let's call Brother Branham. In Moses, the great servant. 57, 55. Paragraph 4. Paragraph 4. En français, le prophète dit, j'aime vraiment parler de Moïse. I just love to talk about Moses. Il est un sacrificateur. He was the priest. Il est un roi. King. Un législateur. A lawgiver. Moïse était en tout un type du Seigneur Jésus. Everything a type of the Lord Écoutez, Jesus Christ. Il est né dans ce monde un bel enfant. He was born in the world a fair child. En d'autres termes, in other words, il est né prophète. He was born a prophet. So a proper child, it means that he was born a prophet. When Jacob and Amram knew that their child was a prophet, a deliverer, that's the beauty we're talking about. They said, God takes care of his gift. Nothing can happen to this child because he was born for a purpose. And it's by revelation that his parents got a hold of that. And they said, we cannot obey the king's order. This child will not be killed because he's born for a purpose. He's born a prophet to free the people of God. Amen. Amen. Et Dieu protégera son don. And God will protect his gift. Et là où je vais vous dire, frère, And that's what I would like to tell you, brothers. Nothing can destroy you avant que vous ayez atteint before you've reached le but pour lequel Dieu vous a créé. the purpose for which God created you. Dieu ne vous a pas créé par hasard. God didn't create you by chance. Each one of you here was created for a purpose. And you need to work for that purpose. As long as you haven't reached that purpose, the devil cannot kill you. You cannot die because you're born under a purpose. And your purpose is to raise up a child that will one day become a preacher who will gain millions of souls as long as that child has not received the Holy Spirit, you cannot die. May each one find out why they're on the earth. We're not on the earth to populate the world. We're on the earth in a given purpose. And Moses was born to free Israel. Nothing could kill him as long as he had him put Pharaoh on his knees. David was born to be a king in Israel. The lion couldn't kill him. The bear couldn't kill him. Goliath couldn't kill him. Saul couldn't kill him. Until he sat down on the throne. Amen. Amen. Samson was born for a purpose to free Israel of the Philistines. They couldn't kill him. Not even Delilah. Until Samson finished with his enemies. Hallelujah. Jesus was born for a purpose to break the waste of Satan and receive the power at the cross 
Jesus could not be killed by being stoned or by being poisoned or by an arrow that they threw. He had to be brought to the cross. It's there at the cross that he crucified Satan. Can I preach? Satan thought that when he killed Jesus, he would finish him. But let me tell you that that dead Jesus is more dangerous than that living Jesus. Hallelujah. When Jesus was alive in Galilee, he wasn't in Samaria. When he was alive, if he was in Jerusalem, he wasn't in Bethany. But when he died and resurrected, incarnated, he's in Lexington, he's in Madagascar, he's in Chicago, he's everywhere. And the miracles of Jesus alive, the miracles of Jesus are more than the miracles that he did when he was alive. Brother Branham says, Jesus in my ministry did more than what he did in his ministry. And to today, the devil regrets crucifying Jesus. Because the Bible says, if, those, if he had known it, he would not have crucified him. The devil hesitated. Should we kill him? Is it him? Or is it not him? He sent people. Why are you putting people in suspense? Tell us if it's you or if it's not you. Jesus said, I won't tell you. But one day, at the grave of Lazarus, they saw Jesus cry. They said, oh, he's a man. Because God does not cry. But after crying, Brother Branham says, Jesus fixed his shoulders. He said, Lazarus, come out. The devil said, that's not a man. He might be God. Don't kill him yet. We have to check it. Hallelujah. And then they hear, Jesus was hungry. He was tired. Oh, well, when they look at him, he multiplies the bread and the fish. They said, oh, he should be the one that made a table in the wilderness. Don't touch him. But he confused them so much that the devil said, it's either hit or miss. But when they killed him, the third day, when he came out, the devil put his hand on his head. It's the seed, the offspring of the woman. And I'm telling you this morning, we are in victory. The battle that we're waging is a battle that was already won. We're just watching the movie of something that's already happened. And we know that despite our falls, despite our sins, despite our weaknesses, the final victory belongs to us. Brothers, just be hard-headed. Or with the devil, be hard-headed. We are in the battle ring. If he hits you and you fall and the referee starts counting, one, two, three, before they reach ten, stand up. If you fall in sin, before they start counting, until your death, before dying, stand up. You will have a swelling here and a swelling there. There's battle scars, but you will be victorious. I'll preach the word. 
Je vais faire du mal à Satan. I'm going to hurt Satan. Il ne pouvait pas tuer Branham. He couldn't kill Brother Branham. Branham until Brother Branham ait révélé les sept sceaux. Had revealed the seven seals. Avant que Branham Before Brother ait Branham aspiré de la nuée. Was taken up in the cloud. And came back. With the revelation of the word. He brought him out. Of the denominational system. And to reveal to us the third pool. Our position. And Brother Branham can rest in peace. His children are walking. In the battle. Delivering souls. Preaching the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Et il ne peut pas vous tuer. And he cannot kill you. Avant que vous ayez atteint. Before you've reached. Le but pour lequel vous êtes né. The purpose you were Parce born for. Parce que vous êtes de la nature prophétique. Because you are a prophetic nature. Vous êtes de bon dame. De you belle are dame. beautiful people. Vous êtes de belles, de bons messieurs. You are beautiful men. Vous êtes des enfants de prophètes. You are the children of the prophet. Des enfants de prophètes. The, for purpose nothing can happen to you and I say in the name of the Lord and say to Satan no matter what you do as long as my life is now filled with the Holy Spirit if I don't have the Holy Spirit this church has not been taken up in fire I'll stay here and preach the word until until The revelation of Jochebed. Voilà la révélation de Amram. The revelation of Amram. Cet enfant est beau. That child is Rien handsome. Ne lui Nothing will happen Alors to vous him. Connaissez l'histoire. So you know the story. Ils l'ont mis dans, un, dans une basket. They dans, put him in a basket. Dans un panier. In a basket. Et le Dieu de paradoxe. And the God of paradox. Prend le panier. Took the basket. Le conduit. And led him. Dans la maison. Into the house. De son ennemi. Of his enemy. Du palais du pharaon. The palace of Pharaoh sorti, came out. Terre, the one who put Pharaoh to the ground. De Nazareth, from Nazareth. La ville la plus sale souillée, the dirtiest and filthiest city sorti, came out. Terre, the one who put sin on the ground. Du from the denominational system de Baptiste, of the Baptist church sorti, came out. The one who put the denominations on the ground. Maintenant, now, on a pris Moïse. We, they took Moses. Pour la fille de Pharaon. The daughter of Pharaoh. La fille de Pharaon est allée remercier son Dieu. The daughter of Pharaoh thanked her God. Pour lui avoir donné un enfant. For giving her a child. Dit c'est mon fils. She said he's my son. Et je lui donne le nom. And I'll give him the name. De Moïse. Of Moses. Suivez-moi bien. Follow me closely. Moïse n'avait pas un nom hébreu. Moses did not have a Hebrew name. Il avait un nom païen. He had a pagan name. Miriam a un nom hébreu. Miriam had a, a, a Jewish hébreu. name. Aaron is Jewish. Jochebed is Jewish. Joshua is Jewish. Laissez-moi revenir un peu en arrière. Well, let me go back a little. Les parents de Moïse ont pris l'enfant. The parents of Moses took the child. Ils ont mis dans le panier. They put him in the basket. Ils ont dit à Moïse. They told Moses. Fisson, son. Nous allons nous séparer. We're going to separate. Tu vas quitter la maison familiale. You're going to leave your family's house. Tu ne verras plus y'a Aaron ni y'a Miriam. You won't see Miriam or Aaron anymore. Nous allons nous séparer. We're going to separate. Tu vas aller chez le pharaon. You'll go to Pharaoh. Chez le païen. The pagan. Tu deviendras égyptien. You'll become Egyptian. Tu deviendras païen. You'll become pagan. Moïse n'avait rien de hébreu. Moses had nothing Hebrew in him. Il avait un nom, païen. He had a pagan name. Quand il a été élevé dans la maison de Pharaon, when he was raised up in Pharaoh's house, il s'habillait comme les Égyptiens. He dressed like the Egyptians. Il adorait les idoles des Égyptiens. He worshipped the idols of the Egyptians. Il marchait comme un Égyptien. He walked like an Egyptian. Il mangeait la nourriture. He ate the Egyptian food. He had nothing Hebrew apart from the blood that was flowing in his veins. Moses was Egyptian in everything. 
dans son langage, his language, sa manière de faire, his way of doing things, sa manière d'adorer, his way of worshiping. Il adorait des idoles. He worshiped the idols. Il adorait Zeus. He worshiped Osiris. All those gods the Egyptian worship. He brought his son, and they went to worship. They bowed down. They invoked them. You look at Moses, a true pagan. And the children of Israel didn't know who Moses was. They insulted him. Maybe they cursed him. He's a pagan. Mais dans les veines là, but in his veins un he was a Hebrew dans les films, les but in the movie The Ten Commandments Brother Bannon recommended us Quand that we watch Frère it chose, when Brother Bannon recommends la something de Dieu. that means it's the word of God on nous montre, they show to us le de Moïse, that the parents of Moses dit, tu vas partir, said you're going to go mais nous ne te pas seul. but we won't leave you alone nous un tissu de la famille. we'll take a family tissue a cloth Le symbole de la famille. The symbol, emblem of the family. Nous dans ton bas, and dans we'll ton place panier. it in your basket. Chérie, ne Honey, jamais. don't separate yourself from it. Garde cela. Keep it. C'est une portion de notre famille. It's a portion of our family. Qui te rappellera that will remind you one day que tu n'es pas Égyptien, that you're not Egyptian, que tu es Hebrew. that you're Hebrew. Voilà où Moïse est parti. And Moses left. Il n'est pas parti seul. He didn't go alone. Il est parti avec une identification. He went with an identification. Qui il est réellement. Of who he truly was. Est-ce qu'on est avec moi? Are you with me? De la même manière vous et moi. The same way with you and I. La Bible dit. The Bible says. Avant même que tu viennes dans ce monde. Before you even come into this world. Avant que tu même que tu commences à pécher. Before you even start sinning. Tu étais un enfant de Dieu. You were a child of God. Ephesians 5 nous dit Ephesians 7 says Ephesians 1 plutôt Ephesians 1 verse 4 verse 4 Il dit en lui says in him donc en Christ in Dieu Christ, nous a élu God elected us avant la fondation du monde before the foundation of the world pour que nous soyons that we should be Amen je m'arrête là I'll stop there Oh Dieu m'a élu Oh God chose Dieu me élu. Oh God chose On me élu pourquoi But he chose you for what Quand vous Les ici, when you do the elections here, vous avez élu Biden you elected Biden to be president. Vous pour être you elect somebody to be a Mais governor. Si vous a élu, but if God elected you, vous a élu pour qui? Did he elect, who did he elect you to be? Oh, oh I'm elected before the foundation. Poste? But elected to which post? Je t'a élu pour quoi? Ça voté. That means he voted for you. That means there were a lot of candidates. There were a lot of people. There were a lot of ladies. God came and elected you. So you could be what? Listen. He chose you. You know? Quand you know? on élit quelqu'un pour être président, when you elect someone to be president, on lui donne tout ce qu'il faut. You give him everything he needs. Pour qu'il exerce bien, to correctly apply his job as a president. Le gouvernement américain, the American government, donne au président, gives the president ce qu'il faut. what he needs. Le pouvoir, the power, pour exercer, to exert, comme président, as a president. Mais nous a élu pourquoi? And why did God elect us? He chose us to be holy and without blame, not in front of men, but before him. You can be holy in front of men, but not in front of God. You can be blameless in front of men, but not in front of God. But here God chose you, he chose you, he voted for you. So that you can be holy in front of him. He is the holiest of holy. And even God himself will find you blameless. 
La Bible dit, the Bible says, même les anges even the angels are not holy in front of God, but God will take you and he'll choose you so you can be holy in front of him. Do you understand that? Not just that. He vous a predestiné predestinated us dans son amour. in his love Pour que vous soyez so ses enfants, you could be his children pas ses enfants, not just his children ses enfants, his children of adoption Et vous savez ce que veut dire. and you know what adoption means vous la de papa. that you'll take the signature vous of your father papa. you become your father the one you will hire is hired the one you will fire is fired the one you'll tie is tied the one you'll untie is untied can someone say amen to that? sisters God elected you so you can be a daughter of adoption so you'll have the same power as him why do you complain Oh, my child oh, it gives me a headache. Brother Branham says, go to prayer and say the Holy Ghost that's in you. Say, Holy Spirit, go. Take my boy. Bring him back. I'll tell you something. To you, the young people who have one foot outside and one foot inside, you're going to complicate your life because your life doesn't belong to you. The day you were consecrated at the altar, it was a ceremony, a ritual. A ritual. The way they consecrate people to demons or to sorcerers in Africa, you, you were consecrated to the Lord. You belong to the Lord, not to the sorcerers of the village, not to your tradition. Your father and mother carried you. They came here. They said, Lord, this child, our son, our daughter, we consecrate her in a religious ritual, a spiritual ceremony. I will I won't see a sorcerer which demon will take something from God something that was consecrated to him now if you want to make your life easier walk in the word because the prayer of your mother the prayer of your father will place a barrier on your will place a rod in your wheels. You'll be in the world, but you won't prosper because the prayer of your father and your mother will block them. The prodigal child, when he left, he didn't prosper. Because the prayer of his father, of his mother, stopped Satan from taking control fully of the child. A child that leaves the father of his house. Even if he's sitting in secret, he's under the blood. Don't leave the church. Even if your life is not correct. And we know your life is not correct. In front of the prayer of the saints. But do not run away from the church. The blood of Jesus is here. It will protect you. It will cover you. Can someone might say, oh pastor, that brother, he sins a lot. Let's kick him out of the church because that brother is stopping the advancement of the church. They might even bring quotes and verses and they'll say, oh look at Ahab, the sin of one man blocked the advancement of the entire army. That's the word. But the problem with you, you don't have the details of the word. You're limiting yourself to one verse. You don't know the supremacy of God, his diversity. 
dira, everywhere they'll say seul, the sin of one blocks everyone but they'll never say that the righteousness of one monde. will free everyone Je un I'll take an example Fine. Phineas in the time of the Moabites amen, amen. they committed a sin God was striking them killing them and a man took a Moabite and passed in front of Moses to go into the room while the, the, the but one man one man Phineas took the spear and went and he threw it in both of them and because of him, God said, I'll stop my anger because of Phineas. Be Phineas. Because of you, that, that person, because of you, God will bless your house. Look at things in another way. A mountain has always two slopes. His sin is blocking the church. But how come your holiness is not advancing the church? You'll say, Pastor, let's keep her, but let's watch him. I believe that I'm a Phineas. By my prayer, by my holiness, by my consecration, God will save him. When the difficulties happen in the house, when things are not working well, when there's tension and trouble, the Lord, don't complain. Glorify God. It's a portion of the scripture that's being fulfilled. The Bible says, they will war against you. They will war against you. They will wage war against you. When they wage war, don't be sad because it's a scripture that's being fulfilled. But the scripture didn't stop there. The scripture said, but they will never overcome you. So when one portion is fulfilled, say the other portion will be fulfilled too. Did I say anything? Did I help someone? Amen. Amen. Donc, frère, so brothers, vous étiez dans la pensée de Dieu. you were in the thoughts of God. Comme Moïse était dans la maison de Amram. The way Moses was in the house of Amram. Amen. Amen. La Bible dit, the Bible says, Job 38, Job 38 où where were you? When I was laying the foundations of the earth and the sons of God were clapping their hands with joy, were rejoicing, where were you? Let me tell you something, brothers. If at church, while God is proclaiming the word and you just sit like that, we ask ourselves where you were when God was laying the foundation of the world. Because Brother Madam tells us death doesn't change your nature. If you were in the thoughts of God, when God was preaching the word, when God was speaking, let there be light. If you were there, you would say, go ahead, God. Speak the word. Amen. In front of the light or not, we were there supporting God. When God was saying, let's create the Beno Canyon, you were there. Oh, Oh, go ahead. When God said, I'll create the sunset mountain. You were there. You said, create the mountain. Something will take place on that mountain where you are supporting God. But that same God is speaking today and you're there sleeping. We ask you the question, where were you when he was laying the foundations of the earth? If you say amen today, if you shout for today, when you'll die, since death won't change your nature, when you'll be on the other side and you'll see Brother Branham, you'll shout, my precious brother.
But if you're like this, you'll see Brother Branham. Oh. Oh, brothers. It's because we've studied a lot. We don't like a lot of noise. We like the calm. In heaven, you'll be troubled. Because in heaven, it's noise. The angels spend their time saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. And the redeemed will sing. Oh, forever. But if that's the way it is, I prefer going to hell. Well, in hell, there will also be noise. The Bible says the gnashing of teeth, and there will be lamentations, there will be murmurs. So in heaven, you'll be uncomfortable, and in hell, you'll be uncomfortable. So now, learn how to shout. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! But one day, God called us into a conference when we were in his thoughts. Like Amram and Jochebed, God told them, my son, my daughter, we're going to separate I'll send you into the world. You'll be a thief. A liar. Oh, what is that? What is a liar? What does that mean? No. You'll say the contrary to the truth. You'll be a prostitute. You'll be a smoker. You'll be a drug addict. You'll fight. You'll have hatred in your heart. You will always have conflicts. You will be a backbiter. And insulting people. Insulting people. You'll even rebel against me. Oh. But Lord, I'll be lost. He said, yes, you'll be lost. But I won't let you go alone. I'll take a part of me. Like Abraham took a part of his family. I'll place it in your heart. In such a way that I will be a complex in you and you'll never be satisfied without me because I am the satisfactory portion that will fulfill your soul. Since I'm taking a part of me and giving it to you, that means I'll be incomplete and I'll be obligated to find you and the part that I lost. That's how we left heaven, the thoughts of God, and we parachuted onto the earth like Moses. We had pagan names. Kayembe is a pagan name. Isio is a pagan name. Mambele is a pagan name. You'll dress like pagans. In heaven, you covered your body. But on the earth, you leave your chest open. You leave your back open. You leave your, uh, your legs open. There are brothers who walk around in shorts here. When we look at your way you're dressing, it's like a pagan. An Egyptian dress. You're going to worship the Trinity. Adoration païenne. A pagan worship. Tu marcheras comme un païen. You'll walk like a pagan. Tu vas adorer Satan. You're going to worship Satan. Musique du monde. With the music of the world. Tu passeras plus le temps à regarder les théâtres de chez nous et les films de Nigériens que de regarder la parole de Dieu. You'll spend more time watching skits and theater than the word of God. Tu seras orgueilleux. You'll be arrogant. Parce que tu un gem, tu auras un You're going to have a phone. Gem, vos oh, uh, uh, a big car. You have a GMC. 
a SUV. You, you puff yourself up. Tu verras tout le monde est rien du tout. You'll see like everybody's nothing in front tu of you. l'orgueil de Satan. You will have the arrogance of Satan. L'humilité de Dieu, tu le perds maintenant. You're going to lose the humility of God. Tu deviendras égyptien. You'll become Egyptian. Fils Son de la fille of the daughter Pharaoh. of Pharaoh. Et nous nous sommes séparés de Dieu. And we separated ourselves from God. Et nous sommes venus ici. And we came here. Et nous avons vécu la vie qu'on a vécu. And we lived the life that we lived. Mais parce que Dieu vous avait mis à part. But because God had placed you apart. Le sang de votre mère. The, the, from the womb of your mother. Exactly. Depuis la fondation du monde. From the foundation of the world. Il se mettra à vous chercher. He will, cha- will start changing you. Laissez-moi vous dire, frère. Let me tell you, brothers. Jésus est venu sauver. Jesus came to save. Pas tout le monde. Not everyone. Il est venu sauver. He came to save. Seulement. Only. Ce qu'il avait. Those. Perdu. Who he had lost. Si je dis je perds ça. If I say I lose this. C'est que je l'avais, non? That means I had it, right? Maintenant je l'ai perdu. Now I lost it. On ne peut pas perdre quelque chose qu'on n'avait pas. You avant. can't lose something you didn't have before. Amen. Amen. Si tu n'étais pas avant dans la pensée de Dieu, if you were in the thoughts of God before, that means God never lost you. Il te connaît même pas. He doesn't even know you. Et il ne vient même pas te chercher. And he won't even come look for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Laissez-moi vous dire une chose. Let me tell you something. Et vous savez que c'est la vérité. And you know it's the truth. On ne devient pas we don't become enfant de Dieu. a child of God. On est né. We are born enfant de Dieu. a child of God. Quand tu étais dans des boîtes de nuit, when you were in the nightclubs, tu dansais le rock and roll, dancing rock and roll, tu avais la partie de Dieu en toi. You had the part of God in you. Tu as conduit Dieu dans des boîtes de nuit. He, you led yourself to the nightclubs. You led God in those bad places. And you never... You always had that, the, the tissue of that Hebrew cloth. When you were committing adultery, God was there. When you were stealing, He was there. When you were begging, He was there. What God can support that? Quand tu regardais les films pornographiques, when you're watching hey, pornography, God was there. Quand tu as tué Étienne, when Paul, you when, when Paul killed Stephen, God was there. Le Dieu trois fois saint, the holiest of holy, you brought him into the nightclub. Les anges entraient. The angels entered, and they were protecting you, so nobody could stab you. By a thug. When you were here, the angels were there because you couldn't die before receiving the message of the hour. One day, God made himself flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Looking for the lost sheep. Amen. Amen. Let me read the prophet first before continuing. Amen. Amen. You'll say, Pastor, you said that we don't become a child of God, but that we're born a child of God. But John said, to those who received him, God gave them the ability to become child of God. Mais toi, tu de dire but you're saying that we don't become a child of God. There's a contradiction. But it's not even, I'm not the one that said it. C'est Paul qui dit. It's Paul who says it. C'est Branham qui dit. It's Brother Branham who says it. C'est Jésus qui dit. It's Jesus who said it. Avant la fondation du Before monde. the foundation of the world, mes they were my sheep. Listen to this. The Lord says, My sheep hear my voice. 
et ils me suivent. And they follow me. Il n'a pas dit he didn't que say les animaux qui entendront ma voix the animals that will hear my voice will follow me et deviendront des and will become sheep après m'avoir suivi. after non. following me. No. Ils sont des, pour commencer, to des begin brebis. with, they're sheep. Parce qu'ils sont des brebis. Because they're voilà sheep. Ils That's why voix. they hear his voice. Il n'y a pas de contradiction. There's no contradiction. Entre ce que Paul dit between what Paul et ce says que Jean dit. and what John says. Parce que Paul because Paul parle de ce que Dieu voit. Speaks on what God sees. Et avant la fondation du monde, Before the foundation of the world, you were his children. Lui Jean, but John, il parle he's talking de ce que les voient. about what men see. Pour les hommes, for men, pour que tu sois un enfant de Dieu, in order for you to be a child of God, you need to stop stealing, mentir, stop lying, stop cheating. Mais ils te voient, but they look voler, at you, they see you mentir, steal, lie, tricher. and cheat. Et ils disent, and they'll say, avec raison, with reason, de that Dieu. you're not a child of God. Mais chose dans ton coeur, but something dit, in your heart will tell you, vole, despite the fact that you steal, fiche, and you cheat, mens, and you lie, I'm a child of God. Mais le jour où Dieu te donne le pouvoir, but the day God gives you the power, pouvoir, what is the power? It's the Holy Spirit. Quand le vient en toi, when the Holy Spirit comes in you, vol, he takes away the stealing, tricherie, takes away the cheating. And then the men will look at you disent, and they'll say, now you've become a Dieu. child of God. C'est les hommes. It's men. Parce que tu as reçu le pouvoir, because you receive the ability, the power to overcome that sin, and your life is changed, and they see it, Dieu, that you're a child of God. But you were, even when you were a sinner. Comme quand Paul dit, It's like when Paul Dieu says, a Abraham par la foi. God justified Abraham by faith. Mais Jacques dit, c'est par les œuvres. But James said it's by works. Jacques parle de ce que les hommes voient. James was talking about what Et men Paul see. Parle And Paul was speaking on what God sees. Now Brother Branham comes to confirm that. Amen. 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 You know, you know I'll shock you a little. Ce pas le baptême du Saint Esprit. It's not the baptism of the Holy Ghost that makes you a child of God. No. No. Oh, Seigneur. Il dit, or, nous Now, sommes une partie de Dieu. We are a part of God. Vous avez toujours existé. You always was. Vous ne vous en souvenez pas. You don't remember it. Parce que vous étiez simplement un attribut de Dieu. Because you were only an attribute in God. Vous étiez seulement dans sa pensée. You were only in his thinking. Votre nom même, Your very name. Si jamais il était écrit dans le livre de vie, if it was ever on the book of life, il a été inscrit it was put avant there la fondation before the foundation of the world. Il savait que vous existiez. He knew what you were. Écoutez, listen. Paragraph 47. Paragraph 47. Je dis ceci. 45. I'm only saying this dans votre doctrine, not to mix up doctrine, mais simplement pour régresser la chose. but to straighten it out. Pour que nous puissions nous débarrasser that we might get away de cette crainte, from this fear de cette peur, and scare. Amen. Amen. Que aujourd'hui, je suis un enfant de Dieu. Oh, that today I'm a child of God. Perdu. Tomorrow I'll be lost. Oh. Si Dieu a fait l'erreur de vous sauver, if God made the mistake of saving you, sauvé pour then you're saved for eternity. Dieu ne fait que, il sauve aujourd'hui, demain il perd. God doesn't et puis, save il today sauver, and then lose you tomorrow and then save you. Pas. No, he doesn't re-save you. Vous devez savoir qui vous êtes. You need to know who you are. Votre position. Your position. On peut dire amen. Can we say amen? Oh. Dieu n'est pas comme nous. God is not like us. Today, because oh, we're good with aimé. the brother, oh, my beloved. Ah, ça, ah, de Dieu. Oh, he's a man oh, of God. Beaucoup. Oh, I appreciate him a lot. He truly preaches well. Le jour où the day where il voit un point doctrinal he'll see a doctrine de moi, that's different from his, il you become a crow. Hier, je appelé aigle. Yesterday, you called him an eagle. But today, ah, oh, they're crows. Ce sont des oh, they're falcons. 
Le jour, il voit comme moi. The day he sees the way I see. Frère, tu es un aigle. Oh, you're an eagle. Vous jouez à quoi? What are you playing with? Je vais vous dire une chose. I'll tell you something. Tu sais que beaucoup d'entre nous ici. You know many of us here? Nous ne nous aimons que par l'amour filéo. We only love us through brotherly filial love. Parce que vous, vous avez pensé que l'amour filéo c'est seulement l'amour qu'on a envers sa femme. Because you think filial love is just to your wife or to your son. Le prophète dit plus loin. The prophet says further. L'amour filéo. Filial love. C'est l'amour que nous avons. Is a love that we have to someone qui est semblable à nous. Who's like us. Amen. Amen. C'est là où le noir et le noir s'aiment. That's why black people les like black, black people s'aiment. and white people like black white people. Parce qu'ils sont semblables. Because they look alike. Comme je suis semblable à lui en croyant la même doctrine. Since I'm like him in believing et the same lui, doctrine as him. Je l'aime. Then I love him. Le jour il croit différemment. But the day he believes differently. Je l'aime plus. I don't love him anymore. Ce n'était pas l'amour divin. That's not divine love. Il y a des pasteurs qui vous aiment par l'amour filéo. There are some pastors who love you with filial love. Parce que vous êtes semblable. Because you're like vous him. Vous venez à son église. You come to his vous church. Vous payez la dîme. You pay your tithes. Et les offrandes. And your offerings. Le jour où tu quittes l'église. But the day you leave the church. Il t'aime plus. He doesn't love you anymore. C'est pas l'amour divin. That's not a gapo love. L'amour divin. Divine love. C'est l'amour éternel. Is an eternal love. Whether we look alike or not, I love you. And divine love is a person. It's Jesus. The Lord says, if you only love those who are like you, what do you do that's extraordinary? The pagans do the same. Soyez parfait. Be perfect. Comme votre Père Céleste est As your heavenly parfait. Father is perfect. Il fait tomber la pluie sur le juste et le méchant. He brings the rain on the wicked and the righteous. Sur le, le soleil fait briller sur ceux qui aiment Dieu. The sun shines on those who love God pas. and those who don't love Him. Mais nous, but us, on donne à ceux qui nous donnent. We give to those who give to us. On visite ceux qui nous viennent visiter. We visit those who visit us. Et quand nous sommes à l'église ici, And like we're at church on a fait des petits clans. We have little clans. Il y en a qui ont beaucoup de moyens. There are those who have a lot of means. Ils se visitent entre eux. Who visit each other. Ceux qui n'ont pas de moyens. And those who don't have the means, they visit themselves. Quand moi je fais une, une agape chez moi, when I have a party at my house, j'invite des gens qui sont de mon niveau. I invite the people of my level. Et le frère là qui vient à l'église en babouche. And that brother who has slippers, il veut la communion des gens de babouche. Oh, he should fellowship with those with the slippers. Je vous dis la vérité. I'm telling you the truth. C'est ce qui se passe. That's what happens. Dans une église, If in a church, il y a un PDG, there is a, a CEO, un directeur d'une entreprise, a director of, a, of an enterprise, a company. La when the pastor would do communion, there a fellowship, they'll invite them. Le frère là qui balaye la rue, the brother who sweeps the road, pour voir le pasteur, to, in order, in order for him to see the pastor, ans. he'll wait six years. Lui on l'envoie, on l'enverra des 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 diacres de Dieu. Oh, they'll send deacons to him. Mais le frère qui est PDG, But the brother who's the CEO, le pasteur lui-même qui vient. The pastor himself will come. C'est filéo. That's filio. C'est filio. That's filio. Je suis désolé I'm de un... vous le dire. I feel bad to tell you. C'est du filio. But it's filio. Le frère là qui habite dans le coin là-bas. Oh, that brother who lives in that neighborhood far away. He's inviting me, the pastor. What am I going to do over there? And to get there, there's no road. And you'll get there. And he'll give you a little fish to eat. Avec des, des matembele, plein d'huile. With something full of oil. Moi j'aime le frère qui habite à Gombe. Lui no. il m'a I prefer the brother that lives over there when he invites me. C'est du filéo. That's filio. Écoutez, Listen, le dit, the prophet says, je dis ceci pour redresser la chose, to straighten it out, nous puissions nous débarrasser de cette crainte, we might get away from this fear, de cette peur, and scare, vous ne savez pas qui vous êtes, you don't know who you are, 
vous n'allez pas devenir you are not going to be mais vous êtes maintenant but now les fils de Dieu you are the sons of God vous l'avez toujours été you always were en effet for quand Dieu vous avait dans sa pensée when God had you in his thinking au commencement at the beginning vous avez dû être une partie une partie de vous a dû être some part of you, la vie qui était en vous your life that's in you now, la vie qui est en vous your life that's in you now, être avec Dieu avant la barre, had to be with God before there. Avant même de devenir un être physique before sur la terre, you even become material on the earth, avant y ait quoi que ce soit, sauf Dieu, before there was anything but God, un de ses you were one of his attributes. Il savait quel serait votre nom païen. He knew what your name would be. Et le nom de quelqu'un c'est sa nature. And the name of someone is their nature. Amen. Amen. Si vous avez un nom américain, if you have an American name, l'esprit américain vous poursuivra. The spirit, the American spirit will follow you. Vous avez un nom français, if you have a French name, l'esprit français vous poursuivra. The French spirit will follow you. Vous avez un nom africain. If you have an African name. Les esprits là de les, vous avez le nom de arrière arrière grand père un vrai sorcier. You know the name of your great great grandfather a true witch. Vous vous appelez de Moïse. You call yourself Moses. Le fils the son de la fille de Pharaon. Of Pharaoh's daughter. Un bande de païens. A bunch of pagans. Mais à l'intérieur. But inside C'est le sang de Dieu. It's the blood of God. Écoutez, frère Bonham. Listen, Bonham says this. Il connaissait la couleur de vos cheveux. He know the color of hair you would have. Il savait tout à votre sujet. He know all about you. Il connaissait vos échecs. He knew your failures, your sins, where you would fall, you would kill a man, he knew you would get an abortion, God knew that. I'm getting there, you understand it. Il dit beaucoup d'entre vous pour être d'accord avec moi. Many of you can fellowship with me on this thought. Je sorte un peu. Dit, I jumped a quand vous étiez enfant, il y a des choses qui vous dérangeaient, mais pour les autres enfants, ils ça les disaient. When you were little, there were some things that would trouble you, but that didn't trouble the other kids. Au paragraphe 48. Paragraph 48. Puis au bout d'un certain temps. And then after a while. Alléluia. Alléluia. Vous avez entendu l'évangile. You heard the gospel. Peut-être que vous êtes allé à l'église. Maybe you went to church. Vous avez embrassé, embrassé tantôt ceci, tantôt cela. You picked out this and that. Vous êtes passé d'une dénomination à une autre. Went from denomination to denomination. Mais un jour. But one day. Puisque vous étiez une partie de Dieu à l'église. You being part of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Un jour, one day, il se peut que mon frère, ton jour sera aujourd'hui. Maybe your day is today, my brother. Tu as vécu dans le péché. You lived in sin. Aujourd'hui c'est ton jour. But today is your day. Un jour, one day. Pour moi c'était le 6 juin 1995. Why was it the 6 of April 1997? When I was 17. Ce jour-là, that day, puisque j'étais une partie de Dieu. Since I was a part of God. Hey. Vous devriez être une partie de la parole. You had to be part of the word. Je suis une partie de la parole. I'm a part of the word. Je suis une partie de la Bible. I'm a part of the Bible. Je suis dans Malachi 4. I'm Malachi 4. When you open Malachi 4, you'll read somewhere. It is written, Behold, I, you, I will send to you, and that you is me. Quand moi je lis la Bible, frère, when I read the Bible, je remplace X par sa valeur. I replace X by its value. When I read Malachi 4, voici, I say, Behold, Elohim, Elohim El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Peniel, will send to Peniel, William Marion Branham. Oh. Oh. 
Dieu a aimé le monde. God so loved the world. Avant de donner son fils, but before giving his son, donné Abraham. he gave Abraham. Et puis il a donné Jacob. And then he gave Jacob. Et puis il a donné Moïse. And then he gave Moses. Il a donné les prophètes. He gave the prophets. Mais quand son amour a atteint son comble, but when his love reached its fullness, quand Dieu ne pouvait plus aimer plus que ce when qu God aime. couldn't love more than what he loved, il n'a pas donné son fils. He didn't send his son. Il s'est fait fils. He made himself the son. Il s'est donné lui-même. He gave himself. Et la Bible dit, and the Bible says, y a pas plus grand amour there's no greater to love de than to giving your life for those that you love. Et la Bible dit, and the Bible says, il pas épargné son fils, if he didn't spare his son, pas vous donner then chose. how could he not give you everything? God loved the church. He sent the apostle Paul. He loved them a little more. He sent Irenaeus. A little more. Columbus. A little more. Martin. A little more. Wesley. When his love reached the fullness. That's why you'll see in the pyramid Brother Madden placed the name of Paul, Irenaeus, Martin but when we reach the seventh there's no name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because William Branham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I say something? God so loved the church that he came himself and incarnated himself in a human being. He said, the pillar of fire that you see it's getting closer, 50 steps from me, as I'm talking to you. It's installing itself in me. Let me tell you something. Now sit down for a little. One day, a child of seven was sitting under a tree, and there was a turbine, a whirlwind. He looked at the leaves. The leaves weren't moving. He said, how could there be a wind that's whirling around here, but it's not touching the leaves? How the pillar of fire is in the bush, but the bush is not being burnt. The physical property of a fire is to burn it. And the physical properties of a wind is to shake things. But that wind, the leaves weren't moving and a voice came out of the tree. Do not drink. Do not smoke. Do not defile your body. I will have a work to do with you when you'll get older. And then, tell me, what was that work? What is the work that requires you to not drink, you to not smoke, and to not defile yourself? You'll say, oh, he'll be an evangelist. But there are a lot of evangelists who drink or who smoke before or who defile themselves. Great evangelists. They're in heaven. Oh, let me think. Oh, maybe it was to be a prophet. Moses was a prophet. But do you know what he did during those 40 years with that woman? Paul was a prophet. But he was guilty of murder. Or maybe he'll be a pastor. But many of our pastors oh, drunk before. Or they smoked. Or they went out with girls. What is that work that requires God to protect the body? Brother Branham was going to be a murderer. He took a rifle to shoot people. 
But when he reloaded it, and he pulled the trigger, nothing came out. It was God protecting the body, so he wouldn't be called a murderer. When he took that glass of whiskey to drink it, God didn't send an angel. God didn't send Gabriel. He came down himself and paralyzed him. If Brother Benham didn't drink, if he didn't smoke, it's not because he's special. No. He's a man of the same nature as us. He had Ireland blood. He was born, but the Holy Spirit protected his body. Because in Genesis 18, since the blood hadn't shed yet, God had to form a body. But since Golgotha, God doesn't need to form a body anymore. He already has a body. And one day he came down, he said, William Branham, do you want to give me your body? The one that I protected, the one that I kept, I have to do a work. And Brother Branham said, I'll give it to you willingly. And he said, the pillar of fire. Can I say something? If it's wrong, my friend will correct me. He'll correct me. And I won't have anything in my heart against him. Because he's the shepherd of the church. Amen. Amen. You heard Brother Branham say, I have a portion. Vous avez une portion. You have a portion. Vous avez une portion. You have a portion. C'est vrai. That's true. Il avait une portion. He had a portion. Parce que le baptême du Saint-Esprit, c'est quoi? Because what is the baptism of the Holy c'est Spirit? La de Dieu en vous. It's the portion of God in you. When the pillar of fire came, the day of the Pentecost, it divided itself in 120 licks of fire. Each one has a portion. That's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. My brother has a portion of this pillar fire. He has one. I have one. That's the baptism of the Spirit. When Brother Adam tells you, I have a portion, you have a portion, he's telling you that he's baptized in the Spirit and you were also baptized with the Spirit. And when we come together, we form the great portion. That's it, right? But for when it comes to fulfilling Luke 17, 30, Genesis 18, it's not the job of a portion. The portion can preach the word. It can pray for the sick. It can cast out demons. But to turn its back, and to discern the thoughts of Sarah, that was an attempt. That's not the job of a portion. Why he says the pillar of fire is coming. He doesn't say it divides itself. Oh, Orman Neville got one. Oh, Collins got one. No, he didn't say that. The sermon, the commission. He said it is installing itself in me. And to prove to you, I'm turning my back. There's one person that turns his back. He was not the son of man, but he was a son of man that was unveiling, that was manifesting the son of man so that God can pay his debt to the Gentiles. And since he eats a lot, what happened in our age is more than in Genesis 18, than the time of Jesus even. Oh, Lord. God has visited us. Brother, 
Despite my faults, despite my sins, despite my battles, despite my falls, Elohim knows that I love him. I will not be lost. I will go to heaven. Even if today I backslide, I leave the message before closing my eyes. Lord, it is impossible for me to leave the message. Peter said, who else will we go to? It's you with the words of eternal life. Oh my. Oh my. When we were young, there in Kinshasa, we would sing. Oh Lord, I looked for you in the denominations. I didn't find you. When I heard the end time gospel, the thunders uttering their voice, that's where I saw you. So who else will I go to than this message with the words of eternal life? My young boy, my young girls, being born in a family where your father believes the message, where your mother believes the message, you have a, 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 a head step closer to heaven. Love the message. Young people, I really love the young people because they're tomorrow's generation, those who will stand at the pulpit here. Our churches should not die. He will pass. This tabernacle should stay. And may God rise up servants who will stand here, who will preach the message with the same fire as the pastor did. That the message will never become a denomination. And this tabernacle is called Tabernacle of the Living God. We're passing. I'm going to be 55 soon. 56. I'm passing. But I'm making sure that when I'll pass away, that church there in Liège, Belgium, I told them I was a founder. But I won't be your. I won't always be your pastor. I have to prepare my succession. It's not like the Congolese who just go by themselves and the day you die, it goes with you. Oh, after me, it'll be chaos. A president who says that, that's not normal. But after us, our sons and our daughters will do better than us. Conserve yourselves. Marry each other. Be the wife of a deacon. The wife of a pastor. The wife of a preacher. The wife of an usher. The wife of the brother who opens the door. Be the sister who cleans the church. And after that, before that, be the sister who lives on her knees. The strength of a church is not the pastor. The strength of a church are the people on their prayers. I'm telling you the truth. You're looking at my watch here. You'll see the hands. But what is making the hands turn? It's the gears inside. When he preaches, it's you who's hidden. You'll see the video. you see him. But who's doing his strength? It's you. God bless this people. Ma 
We'll continue. Listen to this. You have to be part of the word. And when you heard the word, you know where you come from. You know what was the truth. You were always. The seed was in you always. Listen to this. The word. Seen. The word. That was in you. That was before the foundation of the world. That means that you, there was the word before the foundation of the world. The Hebrew cloth. That's where I said, even when you were dancing rock and roll, the word was in you. Now listen. You saw the word and you come to it. You come to la parole a vu la parole qui était en the vous. word seen the word that's la in you. Qui, Who is the word? It's Jesus. Et il a vu la parole qui était en and vous. he saw the word that's in you. Quand Jésus marchait, when Jesus was walking, les perdus, looking for the lost sheep, you thought he was walking around with a flashlight, crier, shouting, oh, where are my lost sheep? Oh, repent. Votre vie au oh, give your life, life to the Lord. Who wants to raise their hands? No. He was walking. He was the great magnet. Zacchaeus had a portion of the word in him. Zacchaeus climbed the tree. Jesus had to pass by there. He's the one that made things like that. Zacchaeus, come here and climb there. You, my son, pass underneath it. And when Jesus passed, he wasn't looking around like this. No. He was just walking simply. And when he got right underneath Zacchaeus. He said, wow. He felt the deep calling the deep. The word that was in Zacchaeus pulled the word. And Jesus saw the word. And he raised his head. How did he know his name? Zacchaeus, come down. Today, the salut the salvation has entered into your house for you too you are a son of Abraham the word that was in Zacchaeus saw the word the word Jesus saw the word in Zacchaeus the word called Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus answered the thief on the cross at the right of the Lord he had a portion of the word in him. The Bible tells us when Jesus was crucified, hallelujah, the thief on the left didn't have the representation of God. He told Jesus, repeating the Pharisees, if you're the son of God, like they're saying, then save yourself and save us. So should we save you so you can continue to kill people? Oh, save yourself and save us. If you're truly the word. If you're the Messiah. But on the right, the thief on the right, he had a portion of the word. He looked at the same Jesus and he told his friend, you, do you not fear God? How did he know that that man on the cross was God? The people below were saying, if you are the son of God, make it front of him. But he didn't say, don't you fear the son of God? No. He went even further. He said, don't you fear God? You going through the same condemnation as him. Who told that thief that that man there was God? And he continued. He said, Lord, remember me. 
when tu when you will come back dans ton règne, in your reign how did he know that that man here how did he know that that man would come back hallelujah the word that was in him saw the word there at the cross hallelujah hallelujah why do we believe the serpent seed? It's the word that's in me that told Brother Branham the pillar of fire. Why do I believe the seals are revealed and they're manifested? The word that's in you saw the word. Listen to the, the reward. I'm telling you today you will be with me in paradise sans repentance. without repenting sans baptême without getting baptized sans baptême du Saint without baptizing the spirit sans, sans de bien volé. even though he stole Le chef est suprême. the supreme Le leader du ciel. the owner of heaven a décidé decided today tu seras avec you will be with me au in paradise Brother Branham says, when Jesus died, that man also died. Maybe the man on the other side died afterwards. We don't care about him. But when Jesus died, the one on the right died too. And there they were in paradise. Jesus came down. He'll go to Satan first to get the key. And that thief was behind Jesus. Oh, looking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Satan, when Satan saw the thief, he told that demon, oh, get him. He's my servant. Jesus said, the servant of who? He's your servant? With the portion of the word? Don't touch him. The parents. Until today, they're in hell. Because everybody was sure that he went to hell. Don't make fun of people. You don't know what will happen before they close their eyes. It's between God and man. Don't ever say, oh, that brother, he died while drinking alcohol, so he's going to hell. Hell doesn't belong to you. Heaven is not yours either. Brother Branham says, about a preacher who had backslid, who had took cases of beer and started to drink them, who tore the sermons, who blasphemed. He died in that condition. The Bible says he's in heaven. God just took him out. But for the neighbors, he backslid, so he's in hell. You will be surprised when you'll get to heaven and you'll see people that you never thought would be there. Don't send people to hell while they're still alive. Oh, he backslid. Oh, the elders have backslid. They cut the hair of Samson. They're fallen. We're the new generation. That elder worked for God. The elders casted out demons. They healed the sick. They converted people. Even if today there's two or three elders who become so big that they don't want to be men anymore, that they want to be between man and God, but the love of God for them stays the love of God. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Now we're starting to finish. We go back to Moses. Moses is in Pharaoh's house. Dressed as an Egyptian. Talking like an Egyptian. Worshiping an Egyptian. Doing everything as an Egyptian. But the Bible says, by faith, when Moses grew up, what does growing up mean? It's not the muscles. 
It's the spiritual maturity. It's the revelation. You grow up in God's time. When Moses grew up, he went back to his room. He saw that cloth. He looked at it. And God started to work. He said, I remember very, very far back, a few months, I can hear my father say, we will not forsake you. We're giving you a part of us. He said, I'm not Egyptian. By faith, he came out. He said, today, I refuse to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Today, in this court, I refuse to be called Egyptian. I'm not Egyptian. I never was. I'm Hebrew. Born Hebrew. By faith. He refused to be called son of Pharaoh's daughter when he grew up. And I pray that today that we grow up by faith you who's called a thief, an adulterer, a liar, a, a wicked man, a, 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 a scammer, a, a submissive wife, a bad boy, today, by faith, stand up and say, I refuse. I'm not a thief. I'm not a wicked man. I'm not disrespectful. I'm a son of God. I'm a Hebrew. Oh, you had the you, you who's called diabetic. You who's called high blood pressure. You who's called all the demons of sickness. Today, as I'm preaching the word, may your faith increase and stand up and refuse to be called diabetic. Refuse to be called high blood pressure. Hallelujah. You whose family said you will never get married. Not just your family. Oh, in your family, we don't get married. Stand up by faith in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be single and tell them I'm not of your family. I'm the family of Abraham, the family of Isaac, the family of Jacob, the family of Rachel, of Rebecca, of Meta Branham. I will get married. You who they said, you'll never get a job. You'll always be a renter. You'll never progress. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand up and confess that me, I have a job. I have my American citizenship. I have the car that I want. I have my own house. By faith, Refuse. refuse grow up in faith oh my listen to me but the man preached to us there are three types of believers amen now I'm telling you in the category of believers there are three types of faith we leave the unbelievers and the make believers will take the believer we are believers. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. But in the category of believers, there are three types of faith. There's a little faith. Jesus told the disciples, Oh, you men of little faith. There's a big faith. He told that Syrophoenician lady and the Roman soldier, I've never seen such a big faith. When, when we get to Enoch and Abraham, it's not little. It's not a big. It's perfect faith. There's little. There's big. 
and there's perfect. And faith comes from what we hear. If you hear a little sermon, it'll produce little faith. If you hear big sermons, it'll produce big faith. But when you listen to the perfect, we know in portion, we prophesy in part. But when the perfect shall come, and the perfect has come, the perfect is this message, and this message produces perfect faith. But the Bible says, we need more than faith in this age uh, we'll, we'll need the rapturing faith and, and that man with the epileptic child that the, the disciples couldn't cast out the Lord told him if you believe all things are possible he answered to the Lord oh, he answered Lord I believe but but come help me that means what God was asking him, the deliverance of his child was at this level. But he was believing on this level. He couldn't reach that. He told the Lord, I believe, but to get there, I don't, I'm not able to. Help my faith. And the apostles told the Lord, increase our faith. And I know this morning, I'm trying to increase your faith to reach the point where, for you to reach the point where you don't need the pastor to lay his hands on you. You don't need the anointing of oil. You will heal yourself from inside. Your healing is in you. The gift of healing is in you. Brother Adam says, all that you need for your pilgrimage on the earth is in you. Now it depends on your faith. If it's at the level, I'll come to the altar for you to lay your hands. We'll do it. Come to the altar and we'll lay our hands on you. But if your faith is on the level of you have to fast seven days, that's not bad. Fast. But if it reaches the speaking of the word, where you lay your own hands on yourself and you bring the testimony to the pastor, why do we preach the word? So, so we can always be behind you. Oh, pray. Oh, pastor, pray for me. Oh, pastor, come to my house. Oh, my wife and I are arguing. Come reconcile us. Well, you haven't grown up. The pastor preached the word. It's the word that reconciles. It's the word that says. Brother, what does the word say? Each one obeys the word. Be reconciled. If the pastor comes to your house, what is he going to do? Is he going to do magic? He'll come with the word. But the word, you already have it. He preached it. Grow up. Fix your problems by the word and by prayer and bring the testimony. Jesus told the apostles, until when will I support you? 30 years in the message. But always look for little problems. Bring in big problems where you fell and then you'll say, I remember that child. The, that child that, whose brain they had to operate on. They went to every doctor. Every religious person. 
They weren't able to heal him. The father told the child, my boy, we haven't lost the battle yet. We haven't, we, my faith was not enough. But they told me that there in Indiana, in Kentucky, in Jeffersonville, God visited us. Let me finish. By faith. Refuse. Refuse. Amen. Amen. Grandisse. Grow up. Refuse to be called a crow. Because you're an eagle. Refuse to be called sickly. Because you're in good health. Refuse to be called dependent on medication. Because your God still heals today. He's able of everything beyond what you can imagine. By faith, Moses refused. The doctor said, you're diabetic. Tell the doctor, by faith, I refuse to be called diabetic. Brothers, it's the law of identification. He became Louis. Because he accepted it. He was in the crib. They would come. Oh, baby Louis. Oh, Louis. Louis, come eat. Louis, go to school. Louis, be careful. Louis will punish you. They called him Louis so many times. He accepted it. That he's Louis. Sometimes we come and we preach. Pêcheurs. You're sinners. Sinners. You go to hell. Oh, you're lost. Oui. Oh, oui. yes. Oui. Yes. Et oui. Yes. Et quand même quand vous pêchez, and when you're sinning, vous dites, normal. you say it's normal. Le avait dit, the pastor told me that I'm a sinner. Vous avez accepté. You accepted it. You are what you are because you accepted it. Today, by faith, refuse to be called a sinner or a sinner. Refuse to be called unhappy. Refuse to be called poor. Refuse. And the Bible says, if you believe with all your heart and you confess it with your mouth, that you're saved, believe is not enough. Now, you need to confess what you believe in your heart. Because Jesus Christ is the high priest, the high priest of our confession. And the prophet says, God will do. He'll make your body obey your confession. God will make it that your soul will obey your confession. God will do that your spirit. You always go watch bad movies. Useless plays or movies. Obey your confession. Obey your confession. Change your language. You're not just anybody. You're sons and daughters of God. And today, I came to tell you, I didn't come to say that you're unhappy or you're a sinner, but to remind you that you are the thoughts of God, the attributes of God, a portion of God. The word is in you. And the word saw the word. Refuse. Amen. You're not just anybody. I'll finish with this. I'll finish with this. It depends on your confession. It'll be done according to your confession. When they reached Kades Barnea, there were 12 spies. And they were, the church is divided in two. The majority, the 10. The elders with their families and two elders, Joshua and Caleb, with their families. Now those two groups, each one prophesied. The twelve prophesied that we won't enter into the land. 
We're going to die in the wilderness. Moses brought us here to die. That land is too strong. They're too big. They saw the same thing that Joshua and Caleb did. But their confession was different. The others confessed that they're unable. That this sickness here, if the doctor told me that he can't do anything, then we can't do anything. Joshua and Caleb said, the land is beautiful. We've seen it. It flows of milk and honey. And we found grace in the eyes of the, and we'll enter. And we confess that we'll enter. And God came down. The high priest came down. He went to the ten. He said, I'll give to you according to your confession. You confessed it that you won't enter. That you'll die in the wilderness. And I'll give you what you confess. And he went to Joshua. He said, you saw the same thing as them, but you confess that you will enter. And I say, amen. I give according to your confession. What is your confession? By faith, refuse everything that's negative. By faith, refuse to be called son of Pharaoh's daughter. Refuse to be called a worldly person. Refuse to be called a pagan. By faith, stand up and say, I'm Hebrew. I'm born of the Hebrew, the Jews. May God bless you. Laisse-moi marcher, Seigneur, là où tu es passé. Je me conduis vers le ciel. Oh, partout dans la Chaque jour, Jésus, remplis-moi, remplis-moi, chaque jour, comme je marche avec la colonne, laisse-moi May the sickness leave their bodies. Fill them with divine love.
speak to God now. Sees you. Let's pray together. Let's raise our voices. Let's confess. Let us confess what we can May each one answer into prayer now. Speak to your God. If it's healing, confess healing. If it's deliverance, confess deliverance. Chaque sœur est en prière, Seigneur, tout puissant. Oh, oh Dieu, tout puissant, mon roi, mon Dieu, manifeste ta puissance et maintenant, Père, en augmentant les niveaux de la foi de tes enfants, Père, pour les amener à ces saisir de tes promesses, Père, que ceux qui sont malades soient guéris, que le faible dise que je suis fort, que le pauvre dise que je suis riche, oh Dieu, tout puissant, que le malade dise que je suis guéri, que le locataire dise j'ai ma maison. Oh Père, Seigneur, que celui qui n'a pas le Saint-Esprit confesse qu'il a le Saint-Esprit. Alléluia. Tu es le souverain sacrificateur de notre confession. Fais qu'il en soit ainsi, Papa. Quand même, moi aussi, je confesse que je suis libre, que je suis béni, que je suis heureux, que je suis guéri, que j'ai tout ce qu'il me faut. Mes problèmes financiers sont résolus. Mes péchés sont effacés. Les maladies m'ont quitté. Je confesse la guérison de ma maman. Je confesse la paix de ma maison. Je confesse la force du Saint-Esprit dans mon église. Je confesse que nous ne sommes pas des fils de la fille de Pharaon. Nous sommes des Hébreux, des Hébreux. Nous sommes des enfants d'Abraham. Nous sommes des enfants de la promesse. Nous sommes, alléluia, des petits messiettes. Nous sommes de Dieu. Que l'on soit ainsi, Seigneur. Je ne suis pas un pécheur. Je suis lavé par le sang de l'agneau. Je suis fait par le sang de Jésus. Mes péchés sont dans la mer de l'oubli. Oh, je te bénis, Père. Je ne t'abandonnerai pas. Je ne te délaisserai pas, Seigneur. Je serai toujours là, à tes pieds, comme Jacob, au pied de Maman Rebecca. Fais-moi trouver grâce. À toi la louange. À toi la gloire, à toi l'honneur. Seigneur, guéris les malades. Seigneur, libère les captifs. Seigneur, visite l'église. Seigneur, honore ta parole. Honore notre foi. J'ai prêché au nom de Jésus-Christ. Je m'éloigne maintenant de la chair. Je me retire. Je rentre chez moi. Je laisse ton peuple entre tes mains. Je laisse ton peuple entre les mains du Saint-Esprit. Bénis cette assemblée, bénis son pasteur, bénis ceux qui travaillent avec lui. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, le Fils de Dieu.
Our brother and sister. Oh, 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 quel merveilleux moment. What a wonderful moment. Quel merveilleux message. What a wonderful message. Pendant que nous avons nos têtes inclinées. While our heads are bowed. Mon frère, ma soeur, My brother and sister. Crois simplement. Only believe. C'est le même Dieu qui vient de te parler. It's the same God that spoke to you. C'est le même Dieu qui est ici. It's the same God that's here. Pour te guérir. To heal you. Pour te bénir. To bless you. Pour répondre à tes to problèmes. To answer your problem. À condition que tu le croies. In the condition that you Crois believe in. Seulement. Only believe. Crois seulement. Only believe. Il pas loin. He's not far. Il est juste là avec He's toi. right there with you. Et la seule chose qui peut and the only thing that can stop him is your unbelief. Mais il est ici. But he's here. Si tu crois que ce qui est prêché, est la If vérité. you believe that what was preached is the truth, de cette vérité, and the author of this est truth is here now pour ça to confirm it ta vie, in your life pour que tu vois so you can see que ce pas that it's not man. Branham. Brother Brandon, Ce pas le it's not the preacher, le pasteur, the pastor, Peniel. Peniel. It's Jesus, de la the author of the word. Il tient sa he keeps his word. Il a sa he sent his word et les a and healed them. Et si il est Dieu, and if he's God, et si il a parlé, and if he spoke, le now it's time où il à where he's looking à sa to fulfill his à word, sa to manifest his word. But he's telling you to believe, only believe, et tu la and you'll see the glory of God. Where you are, no matter the problem, no matter the worry, now there's someone who's able to meet your problem and change it to solution. Now there's someone who's able to meet your sickness and change it to healing. His name is Jesus Christ, and He is here. He is here. If you can believe Him, with our eyes closed. Let's keep our eyes closed. Let's bow our heads. While I call our pastor, we'll come and pray. Do you have any prayers? Believe where you are. If you have a problem, if you don't even know how to believe, just raise your hand. It's there. Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Where you are. If the God that sent Brother Branham, if the author of this message is here present, your problem will finish. Today is the day. Today is the day. At this moment, you won't leave here the way you came in. Because he doesn't just speak. He's ready to come down and manifest his word. While the pastor will pray, believe where you are with your hands raised. The Lord Jesus Christ is here. I believe. I à votre foi qu'il vous soit fait selon votre foi il n'a pas besoin de vous toucher il n'a pas besoin de vous toucher ça tenait Romain il a dit je ne suis pas dit que tu viens de la maison dis seulement un mot Alléluia oh Lord merciful Lord Jesus you have spoken to us today God Lord, you have come as the shepherd, calling out your sheep. You said your sheep will hear your voice. We are hearing it this morning, Lord. 
We have heard your voice. We have heard your speaking. And we are here, Lord, like Moses. Lord, we are here to refuse to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Despite all the years, we have been subjected to the Egyptian habits, Egyptian way of dress, Egyptian way of talking, our Egyptian appetites. We have been subjected, Lord God, until we have begun to think that we are Egyptians, Lord. For a long time, we have been Egyptians. But today, we have heard the voice of God from above speaking to us that we are not Egyptians. God, I pray this morning, we are refusing today to be called Egyptians. We are refusing today to continue as Egyptians. Increase our faith, Lord. Increase our faith. That we refuse, that we refuse to continue as Egyptians. We are realized today, we are the sons of God. We are daughters of God. You have spoken to us, Lord. We refuse to continue to be called the sons of Pharaoh's wife. God, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Like that thief at the cross. Like that thief at the cross. We acknowledge, Lord, that you are the Savior, the Deliverer. We pray like that thief and say, Lord, remember us. Remember us as you have come now to thy time of the kingdom. We pray, Lord Almighty, that you forgive us and heal us and deliver us, Lord. May your faith come in our hearts to realize, Lord Jesus, that we are not Egyptians, yes, Lord. but that you have come for this very hour. May you touch everybody here who is in yes. presence. Everyone who is here, Lord, as we are trembling before the altar. God Almighty, that you have spoken to our hearts. Yes. Yes, we refuse, Lord God Almighty, yes. to be called the sons of Pharaoh's Hallelujah. daughter. As we realize, Lord God Almighty, you have come to make us to realize that we have been under delusion all this time. We come to our senses. We come to our mind. Thanking you for speaking to us this way. Lord, receive us. Increase our faith. Baptize us with your spirit. May the spirit of transformation Come upon each and every one of your children. Yes, Bless the pastor, Lord. Yes. Bless, Lord, the words that have come from his mouth. May you res restore the virtue that has come out of your servant, son. Bless all the officers. Bless everyone, Lord God. Heal the sick right Restore, God Almighty, the virtue, Lord. Bless your church, oh God Almighty. As we confess our sins. As we confess our unbelief, yes. as we confess our inability, touch and heal everybody, Lord. Those at the altar, those who are crying, those who are making their repentance, those who are saying, Lord, pass us not by today when you have spoken, when you have spoken to us in this way. We want to thank you, Lord God, for your voice today. We want to thank you, Lord God, for ministering your faith to us, for speaking to us, Lord, as we realize, Lord, in these last days, God Almighty, that you have come to call your children again, back to the faith, back to realizing, back, oh God Almighty, to know this, that we've always been in your mind, your children. Though we had forgotten it. Though we had been subjected to these spirits and demons. But here we are, Lord. We thank you, God Almighty, for calling us to remember. We commit ourselves in your hands. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. 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 Salut ton frère et ta soeur. Greet your brother, greet your sister. À côté, dis que Dieu te bénisse. Say, may God bless you. Oh, quelle présence. What a presence. C'est merveilleux. It's wonderful. My, my, my. Oh, my. Nous allons incliner pour prier pour les offrandes. We'll bow our heads to pray for the offering. Uh, merci, Jésus. Thank you, Jesus. C'est merveilleux. It's wonderful. Oh, 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 mon âme est bénie. My soul is blessed. Oh, je me sens bien. I feel good. J'ai mangé. I ate. Jésus a toujours une table à friter. Jesus always has a table ready. Souvent, c'est les hommes qui refusent. Sometimes it's the men who refuse. Les gens la sagesse, c'est pas moi de quoi. People come already full with I don't know what. But he said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst. They will be satisfied. Ce matin, and this morning, nous avons bien mangé. we ate well. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Tendre Père Céleste, Dear only Father, nous te disons merci. we say thank you. Merci pour ta présence. Thank you for your presence. Maintenant, c'est le moment, Seigneur, Now it's time pour nous d'apporter dans for us ta maison to bring to your house les offrandes et nos dîmes. The offering and tithes. The prayer to bless each hand that we place in the basket. Remember your promise. It's you who said. You made. You swore on yourself. Test me. Put me to trial. And you see if I will not open the windows of heaven. The time has come. Your children has brought into your house their tithes and offerings. Remember your promise. May you bless each one. Sanctify everything that we put in the basket. May it be useful for the glory of your name. In Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we clap for the Lord?